Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Nicholas. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Now, first of all, I would like to apologize if the video title seems a bit clickbaity, but I promise you, whatever that we discuss today in this video, it works. So one thing that we have to agree on definitely is that the phone prices of Apple is extremely high. So as for my Pixel experience, the one that I'm having here is the 3A XL, but I've previously used the 3XL as well. So what are the differences between them? The 3XL allows you to upload full resolution for four years from the day that you register your device up to the cloud online for absolutely free. So Everything is uploaded to the cloud and it doesn't really use up any of the space of the phone. That's why people with 64 gigs of variant, they don't really feel as if that, you know, the photos and videos are really taking up space. But even with just high quality photos being uploaded to the cloud, you're not actually using any space on the Pixel 3a XL. And then I thought like, what if we apply this to an iPhone? And true enough, to my surprise, it works. So what I did was that I I downloaded the Google Photos from App Store. As long as you have a Google account, you're able to start backing up photos to the cloud, which is amazing because it is pretty much identical with what I'm doing or what I have with the Pixel 3a XL. You can upload photos from your iPhone to Google Photos for high quality, of course, but if you want full resolution, there is a limited space of 15 gigabytes, if I remember correctly. But of course, if you would like to extend that, you would have to pay. But high quality to me itself is honestly good enough. And once everything is backed up from your iPhone to the cloud, you can start clearing out the photos that you have on your iPhone. I mean, after all, in the end, if you do really want to save up some money, I mean, it really is a huge amount, buying the 64 gigs of variant isn't that bad if you actually use Google Photos to back up your you know, actual photos. By actually doing this, you're saving so much storage on your iPhone and you know, you can leave it to other things. So that is a wrap. I personally think that this is a very good solution to people who are looking um, for a cloud to upload all your photos to because if you're uploading in high quality, there really is no limit to how many photos or videos that you can upload to the cloud. And I mean, honestly, that's very generous of Google. Do let me know what you think in the comment section box below. Let me know if you have tried and if it works for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nicholas and I will see you guys in the next one.